Welcome Dark Players 1 and all, today on Straight to the Point we are going to be taking a quick look at the throwing action of the world number 1 and current world champion Peter Wright. One thing to take note of is how he addresses the Oki, look how he's locked onto that treble 20 with his eyes already. And he doesn't take his eyes off it at all. He then puts his foot on the side of the Oki and that's his position at the Oki. So he is only just off centre, he's pretty much in the middle. And he does manage to keep his body remarkably still on the throw. If we take a look now side on, you can see that his body posture is very solid and the elbow does not rise as he goes through with the dart until just after the point of release. So everything is nice and still. So he keeps that elbow still as he draws back, goes through and just as he hits the point of release, there's a very slight rise, but not much. But the whole throw is coming from the elbow upwards, the elbow, wrist and fingers, and that's all you should be using. You do tend to find in darts that the players who keep it simple are the players that are more consistent, as it's much easier to replicate over and over again. In my opinion, if you are going to copy a dart player's throw, you could do a lot worse than Peter Wright. Look how much room there is there to draw that dart back. Keeps the elbow still, straight back, and keeps the dart under the line of sight at all times. The grip itself is also very, very simple. So he's got his first fingers actually over the dart quite a bit, a little bit more than usual. And he's also using the lower part of the top of his thumb. So it's a little bit lower down in that thumb than we typically see. The next two fingers are just stabilizers, slightly touching the dart and the point very gently. Now if we take a look at this grip in action, again, it's just a case of keeping it simple. Aims it up so that you can see directly over the flight into the target. Keeps completely fixed onto that target, draws it back slowly so you can always see over that dart and then pushes it down the line he's looking at. Sometimes you can see him do a little half turn with the dart right there, just as he's aiming as he adjusts the grip a little bit. But he doesn't actually spin the dart as he draws back like a lot of players, it's just setting that dart up until he can see straight over the flight and he feels nice and comfortable, which is the most important thing. Just watch how straight this dart flies into this bed now, it's absolutely amazing. If we go back to a shot from about five or six years ago though, his elbow rose a little bit less, and his hand used to finish sideways a bit like Phil Taylor's. See the two fingers there sticking out? So the handprint there is a little bit different than it is today, in which his hand seems to have his palm facing down, and all the fingers pointing towards the floor which indicates that he's going through more with the wrist and less with the fingers. Though both ways are still very effective. Great stance with Peter Wright all the way on the front foot, very flat. The back foot is slightly raised to push the weight down on the front foot. And as he and many other dart players do advocate, comfortable footwear is very important. I also really love his stance, it's perfect, it's just textbook. Notice how the front leg is completely straight. So when he does lean into the shot, it's all coming from the waist. That's the only bit that tilts forward. This offers you the maximum stability that you're gonna get. And I do love the arc on his throw. Just watch the way he goes through with this dart now. It's absolutely amazing. You don't get much cleaner than that. And this is another great shot here. Just watch how still his head is. Aim straight over the flight of said, Draws back nicely. Keeping everything nice and still and throw straight down the line he's looking at. Everything is just well balanced and simple, but that's what makes it so great in my opinion. But that's it for today. Please remember to like, leave a comment, check out my website for coaching, and as always, subscribe if you love the darts.